Saturday morning, 7 a.m. What do you hear in your neighborhood? Ooh, maybe the birds are out there chirping, doing their thing, nice and peaceful. But maybe what you hear is this. Yeah. The neighbor who mows at 7 a.m. on a Saturday. But maybe not this Saturday. And so if we're looking at a warm season turf grass, they generally do need to be maintained very well um, with the strict mowing height. Um, again, depending on the, the variety um, during the summer. However, our cool season grasses, so our tall fescues, our fine fescues, bluegrass, rye, if there's any of that left, um, that you want to be a little less, uh, you know, uh, harsh on because it's already stressed, um, especially during this heat and without any water. So, um, you know, mow when you need to sort of situation. Well, the lawn mowing rules, they're different depending on the kind of grass you have. But at least you can sleep past 7 o'clock. <laughs> that is annoying when someone starts too early. Haven't they made some, uh, maybe I'm totally wrong about this, that made some lawn mowers that are a little bit more quiet? I could oh, be wrong. No, I thought I've heard of that before. I could be wrong. The manual ones, right? Like the ones oh, yeah, the ones. <laughs> motor in them. It's yes. just like. <laughs> All right, so what we had up there, you, you heard a guy from the North Carolina Ag Extension office. They were talking. And there was a graphic there, and it showed you all the different kinds of grasses. Grass. You have any idea what kind of grass you have? Um, I only know one type of grass, and it's the Kentucky bluegrass. Okay. Fescue, I think, <clears throat> is what we have. Okay. Well, if you have fescue or Kentucky bluegrass, that is a cold weather grass, which means you might have some other issues that are coming up. Okay. I always have issues. So, you know <laughs> what? Most of us don't know what kind of grass we have. You can actually take a picture of your grass and email the folks at the Ag Extension <laughs> office, <laughs> and they will tell you what kind of grass you have. Because you do need to treat certain grasses, need certain types of fertilizers and stuff. For sure. I mean, it is very different. And I know you're like, I don't own no grass. I don't care. <laughs> but eventually you will because you're like, then you have to pay a lot of money mm. for your grass to <laughs> look better, right? Or or just, you know, <laughs> get it in a townhome like me. You don't have to take care of any of the Don't outside. have to worry about <laughs> it. <laughs> the number one thing for most lawns out there is your lawn needs an inch of water a week. An inch. Have we been getting an inch no, of water? No, we have not. Mm -hmm. And we haven't even been getting that a month. No, it was point, like right? four one hundredths of an inch in the last 17 days. Right. Okay. So here's one last recommendation before we had to break about how you need to water your grass. Ideally, you want to do it before noon each day um, because what's that? what that's going to do is it's going to allow that moisture to, to uh, soak into the earth um, and then any remaining moisture to, uh, to evaporate because one of the biggest problems we have with any type of plant is fungal growth. And with that excess uh, moisture and with the heat, that's a, a prime environment for, for a lot of fungal growth.